Okay. So today I'm going to quickly talk about the story of Dharma Kumar. Um, I don't really know if it's that well heard of, but um, this, is, this is a story that I found interesting on my own time that I was reading and then I wanted to see if I could share it with you guys just because I felt like the message kind of um, stuck out really well. So um, basically what this is about is how a king from the city of Kamalapur um, was kind of like doing his own business like part of like his court um proceedings and things like that and an astrologer came in who said that um do you want to know your future so the astrologer or the king was like yeah like i want to know like what's going to happen to like my city and stuff and, like if there's anything coming that's going to impede um like the progress of my nation or my like kind of nation area so the astrologer said that there's um a severe famine that'll break out and it'll wipe the city out so the king obviously being someone who wants like his nation to flourish and his empire to flourish didn't like hearing that so what he did was he took all the precautions that he could think of to um try and avoid this famine so what he did was he got like a lot of the water that he needed because like a cloud was in the sky so he was like oh i'm gonna like he looked up at the sky and he was gonna start raining and then um he like managed to like collect that water so that like the um so that the people had rain so that or people had rain so that they could grow their crops so this part of it um proved like the astrologer's theory wrong because he'd been able to kind of like divert that first crisis and then um there was a sage that came later who then said that who like told um who like asked the sage like oh like is the crisis gone now because like I was able to avert it with like my things and he was like the like the famine was unavoidable but because a pious soul was born in your city um it was it was averted because of that so obviously as like any person would the king was eager to know who this pious soul was and um the sage said that in the city of Purnimatla there was a rich guy who's suddenly gotten sick and this um and he tried his best to improve his health but he wasn't able to do that so then he met a monk and started listening to his sermon and he decided to give up regular food so that he could stay on simple food that was spices kind of like an ambil if you guys are familiar with that where you don't eat anything with like spices just to satisfy your um, body's needs for food and then he also started meditating and because of this his health improved he continued to practice his diet and then um he managed to recover and he like he started taking his business again and became wealthy. Um, and then once the famine did occur, he used his wealth to support the people and people, uh, he sur they survived it. And then after he passed away, he was born as a dev and which is like heaven. And he was reborn. This was in his past life. Sorry, I don't know if I clarified that, but, but then he was born again in the king's city as the son of the Shadika Subuti. So the king was happy to hear this because um, you know, this pious soul was born. So after he went to go visit Subuti to pay his respects to this amazing soul, he saw the child and blessed him. And the child's name was Dharma Kumar. And that's what he named him. So um, Dharma Kumar grew up, to, grew up and then he married a beautiful young woman and they lived happily ever after. And then um, closer to the end of his life, he became a monk. So I think it just kind of just shows how uh, if you like, fate really can't be like averted but um sometimes there's some things that can happen where like karma is not always like what the main thing is um yeah i think that was pretty much it. are there any questions i don't know if i'm not too much